Hello, this is the specimen of a segment of esophagus and it has been longitudinally opened so that we're looking here at the mucosal surface and uh, let me just turn it slightly so that we can look better. Um, this is the wall of the esophagus and we can see that this is the mucosa, this layer here is the submucosa and this darker brown layer is the muscularis propria and then deep to that is the adventitial layer. So the pathology is localized here. It is a very well circumscribed rounded nodule, a spherical nodule that is located within the wall of the esophagus. We can see that it is not actually involving the mucosa because the mucosa still appears to be smooth over this nodule. And I'm just going to magnify it for you here. This nodule has a pale tan cut surface with some darker brownish areas here. Uh, the cut surface appears to be somewhat whirled in areas and it is very well circumscribed. I do not see any evidence of invasion or extension into the other structures in the wall of the esophagus or into the overlying mucosa. Let's just have a look at the adventitial surface and again we can see that the nodule does not extend onto this surface. This is a very classical appearance of a mesenchymal tumour that is located in the wall, uh, in other words a mural or submucosal nodule rather than a tumour that is arising from the mucosa and in this instance within the esophagus uh, the commonest stromal tumour is actually the leomyoma or in other words a smooth muscle neoplasm most of the time, these smooth muscle tumours in the context of the esophagus are benign, hence they are leiomyomas. The malignant counterpart is the leiomyosarcoma, and those are much less common. Microscopically, here we're looking at a core biopsy taken from this uh, nodule, and uh, we can see a very pink appearance. Over here, there is some calcification, which appears more purple. And when we take a closer look, uh, we can see that the cells are very uniform. They're very spindly with spindle elongated nuclei and quite abundant pink eosinophilic cytoplasm. This is why the tumor on low power microscopy looks very pink because of the low NC ratios and the abundant cytoplasm. So in summary, this is a length of esophagus with a rounded, spherical, very well circumscribed neural nodule with a world tan cut surface and this is a classical appearance of a smooth muscle benign neoplasm or a leiomyoma. In the stomach, the most common stromal tumour would be a gist or gastrointestinal stromal tumour but in the esophagus, it is the leiomyoma.